Hello everyone. You are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x plus 4 times x plus 6 times x plus 8 times x plus 10 is equal to 9. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. Since this 4 plus this 10, 4 plus 10 is equal to 14 and this 6 plus 8. 6 plus 8 is equal to 14. So we combine these two terms x plus 4 and x plus 10 and we combine these two terms x plus 6 and x plus 8. This will become x plus 4 times x plus 10 times x plus 6 times x plus 8 is equal to 9. Expand these two expressions, this will become x squared plus 10 times x plus 4 times x plus 40 times x squared plus 8 times x plus 6 times x plus 48 is equal to 9. Next, x squared plus 10x plus 4x will become 14 times x plus 40 times x squared. This 8x plus 6x will become plus 14 times x plus this 48 is same as 40 plus 8 is equal to 9. Now we suppose that this x squared plus 14 times x plus 40, x squared plus 14 times x plus 40 is equal to y. Let x squared plus 14 times x plus 40 is equal to y. So this equation will become y times y plus 8 is equal to 9. Distribute y, this will become y squared plus 8 times y is equal to 9. Move this 9 to the left hand side, this will become y squared plus 8 times y minus 9 is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation and is factorable. We write this y squared and we break this 8y into negative y plus 9y minus 9 is equal to 0. From these two terms uh, we can factor out y in bracket left uh, y minus 1. From these two terms uh, we can factor out plus 9 in bracket left uh, y minus 1 equal to 0. So you can see that this uh, y minus 1 is a common factor. So we factor out this uh, y minus 1. And uh, in bracket left, uh, this y and this 9. In bracket left, uh, y plus uh, 9 equal to 0. From here, either this expression y minus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression y plus uh, 9 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of y equal to 1. And from this equation we get the value of y equal to negative 9. Now to find the values of x we recall that we have supposed we have supposed that x squared plus 14x plus 40 is equal to y. We have supposed that uh, x squared plus uh, 14 times x plus uh, 40 is equal to y. And here we have uh, two cases for y. y is equal to 1. This is case 1. And y is equal to negative 9. This is case 2. First we solve case number 1. When y is 1, 
then this will become x squared plus 14 times x plus 40 is equal to 1. Move this 1 to the left hand side, this will become x squared plus 14 times x plus 40 minus 1 equal to 0. x squared plus 14 times x, 40 minus 1 will become plus 39 equal to 0. Now, this quadratic equation is not factorable, so we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula, x is equal to negative b is 14 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write 14 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 39 divided by 2 times a is 1 next x is equal to negative 14 plus or minus square root of this 14 squared will become 196 minus 4 times 1 times 39 156 divided by 2 times 1 2 and x is equal to negative 14 plus or minus square root of this 196 minus 156 will become 40 divided by 2 x x is equal to negative 14 plus or minus this square root of 40 is same as root 4 times root 10 divided by 2 next x is equal to negative 14 plus or minus root 4 will become 2 times root 10 divided by 2 x is equal to from the numerator we can factor out 2 in bracket left negative 7 plus or minus root 10 divided by 2 now this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and from here we get a 2 values of x x1 is equal to negative 7 plus root 10 uh, x2 is equal to negative 7 minus root 10. Now we solve the second case uh, when in the second case uh, we have y is equal to 9 and we have this substitution x squared plus 14x is equal to 40 is equal to y. In case number 2, we have uh, y is equal to negative 9 and we have substitution x squared plus uh, 14 times x plus uh, 40 is equal to y. So, this will become x squared plus uh, 14 times x plus uh, 40 equal to negative 9. Move this negative 9 to the left hand side, this will become x squared plus 14 times x plus 40 plus 9 equal to 0. Further simplify, this will become x squared plus 14 times x plus 49 equal to 0. Next, x squared plus this 14x is same as 2 times x times 7 plus this 49 is same as 7 squared equal to 0. So, by using this algebraic entry a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared. This expression at the left hand side will become x plus 7 whole squared equal to 0 and this x plus 7 whole squared is same as x plus 7 times x plus 7 equal to 0. Now from here either this expression x plus 7 equal to 0 
or this expression x plus 7 equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of x negative 7 and from this equation we get the value of x negative 7. This is third value of x and this is fourth value of x. And first we found that uh, x1 is equal to and uh, x2 is equal to x1 is uh, negative 7 plus root 10 and x2 is negative 7 minus root 10. First we found that x1 is equal to negative 7 plus uh, root 10 and x2 is uh, negative 7 minus root 10. So, we have uh, four solutions for this equation negative 7 plus root 10, negative 7 minus root 10 and third and four are same negative 7.